This program is brought to you by The Big Secret Movie, now available on Amazon Prime and other video delivery services, and by Occupy Health, available on Voice America, and by TVE Course, featuring free online classes in electronics, video production, broadcast engineering, sports, and health, and by the Paul Porter YouTube channel, the Porter Museum of Broadcast Electronics. Uh, hi there, it's me again. Uh, just popped in to see what was going on. And I have a BGW203 preamp made in America back in the 70s. Just figuring this thing out. Customer says when you don't have the EQ equalization in bypass, there's no signal. And they are right. Bypass, I've got signal. Uh, tone circuit's active. Nothing. And I'm still not sure why, although I suspect it has to do with the fact that it has EQ in and out jacks on the back and a jumper may be required back here. I'm not entirely sure because the schematic is not on the internet. I'm having to do this thing blind. But yes, it is built in America, weighs a ton, all American parts, thousand tantalum capacitors, that's never a good sign. Plus and minus 18 volt power supply is good. Switch is a little dirty, but it'll take me a while to figure out where the tone's going to, but I'll find it. You want to try running a jumper through that real quick to see? Well, I could. Just take it. I say it's nicely built. It won't be hard to trace anything. I mean, look at it. Let me see. Where am I going to find a jumper RCA cable? Give me a second. They're over here. And they're always stuck. They always mix with each yeah. other. Yeah. Oh, and they wrap around each other. I'm on. Just one of you. That's all I want. There we go. Now what is this right here? Is that a which one? That, 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 that looks like a stereoscope all over. That's a Huttron. A Huttron. You circuit, talk about circuit your... analyzer. We must do a whole day on that. That is an amazing little piece of test equipment. What can you do with it? Uh, if you take this, the probes and you have a circuit, uh, preferably inactive, and you want to see if the diodes or transistors are good. Uh, let me just find a transistor laying here. I just did one. There's an envelope laying right here. I just did another one, a, a preamp job. And I had noisy transistors. And the Titron will sometimes find noisy transistors. It didn't find these, I'm sorry to say. But let's say you've got a transistor or a diode and you're curious about its condition. Uh, you can go to any two points on it, and that is a normal diode or uh, silicon transistor junction signature. So there's emitter to base and emitter to collector. And emitter to collector usually shows very little uh, signature unless you crank the gain up. If you have a diode in circuit or out, and you don't know if it's a regular diode or a zener, Regular diode is that V signature, and a zener is a little chair-shaped signature. So you know instantly whether it's a zener or a regular, trans, a regular diode without having to, th to think. You can check them in circuit or out. And the best thing about this, if you've got two identical circuits, like in an amplifier, and they're behaving differently and you don't know why, you can go point to point comparing any pair of points in those two circuits until you find a signature that doesn't match the other one. Even if it's a subtle little difference, you know the problems in that area, and you can concentrate on the semiconductors in that area, or the resistors or the capacitors. Resistors just give you a straight, straight up and down line. They don't tell you much. Capacitors make a circle. But you get complex waveforms. This is, is a test signal being put through that circuit and then uh, XY uh, coordinated. And you can find tiny little differences between the two circuits pinned down a very subtle flaw. I once went out to uh, downtown Dallas up on a high rise with uh, what used to be uh, uh, Texas Power and Light. They had a Barco projector in the boardroom. Big sucker. One channel on one of the picture tube drivers out. Nobody could figure it out. I went home that thing to the shop because it weighed a ton. Went out there with this and sat down, and in about 20 minutes, comparing a good board to a bad one, identified one little chip resistor on that board that was bad. 
would never have found it in a million years. But by comparing signatures, I narrowed it down to that one part. Change that one part, things running. It's the only time my boss said anything nice about me that whole year. But that one time he was impressed. So that's, that's worth every penny I paid for it. It's very valuable. It saves me a lot of guessing. But I'll get down with this little bit and trace it out, see if it's really a jumper. Oh, we can put a jumper on this just for the last, for last. Hang on. I get to talking, you know. Okay, there's in and there's out. Okay. Needs a jumper. Well, the question is. Okay. It's in not defeat. And it's working. 